All right, what's up, YouTubers? We are heading into round three. We are 2-0 right now with a pretty good blue-white flyer list. Uh, once again, a lot of great players still uh, at the undefeated mark. So, uh, you know, we're not going to have an easy tournament, but I think this deck is the real deal. Um, I'm so glad we switched to blue-white over uh, some other options that we had because we just have we just have bombs. You know, we were we were thinking about going away from white because of our six drop Hydra, but we just have that six drop that gains you a bunch of life card, and that card's just disgusting. So it's kind of the same, except we have good two, two drops. And speak of the Loxodon, here we are. Okay, so this hand is pretty awkward though because we do have just two four drops, two six drops, and three lands. That's not ideal. And this hand would be better on the play, but I don't think you mulligan this because this is a good card at bringing you back. Plus, if we were to draw any kind of spells um, for early game, it would be great. If not, we can just hopefully get there with some catch up. So this hand is close, but I think it's a keep. All right, let's do it. Thornwood Falls. Okay. Eh, we definitely want to play something. We don't want to discard, but worst case scenario, we will definitely cast that. Um, but yeah, discarding on turn three and not impacting the board. A two drop, please. Oh my god, that was perfect. Now we don't have to discard, and we get to curve out nicely. That was so lucky. Oh my god, that was sweet. That was so sweet. And now it's a 2-2, essentially, so... Still a great card. We have nothing to really go with it at the moment. Eh, okay. Now we can't attack next turn anyways. Solves that problem for us. We get to Divination here. Draw some cards. We had seven cards. Now we can play effective spells for the rest of the game. Or the foreseeable future at least. And now we don't care if we take a couple nickel and dime shots here. Because we can just like Serpent into Life Chanter. Okay, so that will make it so we can't attack into that. But flyers right now, especially this good of flyers, are what we really don't want. So I think I'm actually going to sleep paralysis this. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We might severely regret that later. You know what? We're going to go with this first, see if we can curve out. It's still a good body. We get to get rid of some lands if there is some. We get to search for agent. Okay, this was great. I don't want to draw either of these cards, so I'm, I'm hyped we did this. Now, worst case, we can sleep paralysis at next turn. Um, and then maybe start getting aggressive and then start dropping our six drops here. So that's our plan. And we're sticking to it. All right. Okay. Another good good flyer here. We probably want to kill Dawning Angel. Ooh, play one of our own is actually much better. So I, I think I want to attack here. I think I want to start getting aggressive because we have this like reset button with Loxodon, right? So I want to get aggressive, have them start getting me low. I don't really care. And then Life Chanter is just going to reset. So we're gonna get in there. Attack for five. Now this only puts him to 20, <laughs> so that's kind of awkward. With Thornfalls and Dawning Angel, they uh, gained a good significant amount of life. But now we're gonna go to 19. And we're gonna try to block if we can though. And now we get to save this sleep paralysis for some, some later big bomb that they probably inevitably have. All right, so they are a Bant deck. So far, only blue-white. So, But two forests leads me to believe that they're majority green. So I'd be curious what they're splashing. I would assume blue. Because Frost Lynx is a card that's very good on turn three or really good on turn seven. Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, so we can't block Griffin. Protector. Okay, that card's good. Okay, so they go get to get another Dawning Angel. Seems pretty strong. All right, we're going to take six here. We're just going to block this. Now, we can't really attack. We can attack with this, actually. So, 
Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And then we're gonna life chanter. We're gonna take one more hit here. We might even take more. So we're gonna get in there with this. And we're gonna hope they don't do anything to our serpent. I really actually don't want this to trade, so maybe I shouldn't have attacked. Okay. I, I really didn't think they would block when they're gonna gain four more life here. All right, so now next turn we'll have the option to Life Chanter or Sleep Paralysis plus Angel, which is pretty strong. They're more than likely just gonna play a Dawning Angel here. Okay. So now it looks like we'll be taking another three. Ooh, looks like we might be taking a little more. That's okay. So we're gonna block with Fencing Ace here to that Frost. And now we're just gonna gain it all back. All right. So yeah, now we're down to six. So we're gonna go back up to what, 15? Unless we think we can... Now we're starting to play with Fire though. So we do know they're Handless. So now we could Sleep Paralysis plus this uh, Imperial Eagle, but I don't really like that as much. Now, the real question is, do we want to get in there with our Octopus? And I think we do. We probably want to play our Life Chanter first, if that's the case. Hmm. Yeah, I think we'll just Life Chanter here. Take a hit for five, because we're going to go to 15. Oh, boy. This is tough, because I just know once we use our Sleep Paralysis, they're going to top deck a bomb. But here's the thing. If we don't play Life Chanter, then they can just attack with this 3-3 freely. So I think we kind of are priced in here. All right. So we're going to have our life total get big. Yes, please. Attack. Now we have a pretty good follow-up. And they're unlikely to want to attack with uh, Pattern Matcher and Frost Links because they'll just lose the pattern. Pattern Matcher is good. Probably just the Flyer, so they did not top deck a creature. Could be a spell or more likely just a land. Okay, so we'll take that. And now Loxodon can only give plus 10, plus 10, only plus 10, plus 10, but that's still 14 damage coming through. So we're probably going to get in there with our two four sixes. And then more than likely not uh, pump because we, we're going to want to like sleep paralysis plus imperial angel or eagle. What did they top deck like inspiring charge maybe and they're just trying to get damage in. Could make sense but I think they would just attack with everything right and they'd probably kill me. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, that would have just been lethal. So if they have Inspiring Charge, they screwed up real bad. Can't believe I've been attacking them basically every turn and they're still at 19. They've gained so much life. I don't know which one I'm going to want to Sleep Paralysis though. Griffin Protector or the Dawning Angel. Ooh, wow, I guess neither. Okay, well, we're going to start off by attacking with these two creatures. So now this is a lot of ground pounders coming in. I want to leave the Octoprofit back just in case for a crackback. This is enough here to present a two-turn clock. I don't think we're going to go crazy and pump or anything. Well, now we're definitely not. All right, so we'll do that. 
All right, now we're going to actually play this first because if they did draw a counter spell, I think I would rather them counter that. All right, so now we got our flying uh, defense set up. Now I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. Now we just want to keep our life total high so that our Loxodon is just a lethal attacker every turn, similar to what we did last time. Yeah, can't attack if they don't have anything, that's for sure, because we have a first striker. What is this? Raise the alarm, maybe? For... Oops, excuse me. Now this is interesting. I don't like this. What could this be? Could be the plus three, plus three thing. That would be good. Could be raise the alarm, but that wouldn't make sense why Dawning Angel would attack. Could be invocation, the plus three, plus three thing. But that's plus two, plus two, I think, right? Yeah. It would make sense. It's within the, what the deck can do. So if it's the plus two, plus two thing, yeah, they could just kill everything if I double block. I think it's safest for me just to go like this. Make them have it. Or I go like this. That way, I mean, we get punished with inspiring charge, I guess. Inspiring charge is the max punish here, but if it's just one pump spell, then they just kill one of them. Okay. Wish we had an unsummon to back this up, but... Because they didn't have Inspiring Charge last turn or they would have killed us. So it's probably that plus two, plus two thing. Okay, that makes sense. Now we can Sleep Paralysis that. So we get a little nice two for one out of the deal. Okay, so now I think we just bring Squad. Because they have to block. For sure this, any creature allows this griffin to go through, so I think this as well. I think maybe this as well and just leave back the 3-3 three, three again. Seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it doesn't increase my clock by leaving this back and it plays a little safe, so I like that. So now Loxodon once again has to be blocked because of the eagle attacking because I can make the Loxodon a 14 power creature. So that has to be chumped. And I think that'll be their only block. God, that locks it on. It's just so good. You don't have to commit any more mana. You just get to attack and you, you threaten the chance that you could kill them. All right. So now one, two, three, four. Paralysis. Fencing agent. Next turn, we just go all in. Go all in. Well, this fencing ace hasn't been great so far. I mean, it's traded with a 2-2. Two -two. Oh. Okay, they could attack for five. Wow, that would have been lethal. That would have been lethal if we didn't have sleep paralysis. Yikes. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So luckily, them attacking with these two creatures and just playing a blocker or having a removal spell is not enough. So they'll have to leave at least one creature back, which is very huge right now. Because then we're allowed to leave, like, our ego back. Okay. So yeah, now they have to leave two creatures back to block to live. Okay, that's coming in. So now I would assume this ape goes in front of this. Oh, that's got to be game. Five, six. Yeah, that was a great draw. So they have to block that. Yep, that's game. That was lucky. Four, five, six. Pacifism. So they have to block here. Then they still take seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Boom, game one goes to us. All right, so their deck's good. A lot of flyers, so I'm going to take Piranhas out. 
Um, now, with it being a lot of flyers, I'm sure there is some white-based enchantment removal. Something where God's Willing is just insane. So I think I'm also going to take this out. Brought back's not good enough. Raise the Alarm seems like it'd be pretty bad. Angelic Gift seems kind of actually nice. Um, or just a Counterspell. I think a Counterspell is completely reasonable. I wish I had some way to deal with Flyers. I mean, we could splash for, like, Plummet. And we do have a Sand. Seems pretty bad to me, but... Um... So it's either raise the alarm, angelic gift, or counterspell, or scholar of ages. Scholar of ages just doesn't have enough targets, I'm afraid. I wish, but we only have, what, three in the deck? That's bad. Or glaring agus, I guess, but this card I don't like. Um, I think it's really between the counterspell and angelic gift. Do we have enough non-flyers that it's even worth it? I don't think so. We're just going to go with the counterspell. Now we do have an extra, now we do have four for this, but still not worth it in my opinion. Squad captain could just be good. Um, but on the draw, I think it is less good. We'll keep it like this. 15 creatures I think is enough. All right. Once again, our deck is pretty sweet. Um, I have high hopes that we can get 6-2 or better with this, but you never know. God, I forgot uh, Boreal Elemental is in our deck. We have not seen this card yet. Card's good. But luckily, we've seen this card basically every game, so I'll take that exchange. <laughs> All right. And I do want to keep in mind that we do have double flame sweep, so if we ever play against like a really aggressive go-wide strategy... We can transition into that. It would probably be into a blue-red deck. Because I think our blue is pretty strong. But, eh, white's good too. But white-red is just usually worse. Our opponent's got the old 41-card special. I wonder if they did that on purpose. Okay. We got our most powerful card. As well as just decent other cards. We need to draw some lands. But we are on the draw. So I think this is reasonable. All right, we have a good curve. All right, perfect. Now we have a great curve. Now we get to go Fencing Agent and then uh, Warden into Eagle with protection. So let's go. All right, we're drawing land, so that's good. Getting closer to Agent. Agent is just disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. All right. What do we got? Okay, our opponent is beginning the flying warfare. Pretty good, pretty good. But I think our Empyrean Eagle will take over a little bit. And then with God's Willing as protection, I think that's going to be great. So we're going to start with Warden. Now is our opponent just contemplating blocking? Oh, I guess. Fencing Agent and Sprite do trade. And I'll make that trade. I think I will make that trade very happily. Yeah, I'm content with it. Control their board. Their two drop is great. My two drop is okay. Okay to great. All right, so we'll play the Warden. Now next turn, this Eagle will only cost two. And now we're only two lands away from Agent, so we're doing it. But of course, we want them to play something nice before we do it. Well, we will not block here. All right, well, we definitely will not block here. Okay, but now this eagle is just going to shut down their board. All right, that's kind of all we got. Now we are getting a little flooded, but we are flooding to our best card. So we only need one more land for that. So I wouldn't mind drawing a five drop and then a six drop and then a land. Is that too much to ask for? Okay. 
That card's good, but that would be a nice one to steal, in my opinion. Now the question is, do we start getting aggressive? Oh, wish we would have had... Well, I mean, we didn't have the mana. But that is good. Now, we can just actually use God's Willing to kill the Silverback Shaman if we hold these back. And I think that's worth it. Because we can God's Willing to save both of them. And then... Um, and have a counter spell back up to kill their next big threat. And then agent the big one after that. So I think that's reasonable. They get to draw a card. So, I mean, just Silverback Shaman is just a good card. This Convolute is actually probably going to be pretty good. We're at about that time where we're playing some bomb stuff, so... I think that's exactly what I want to counter. Because I don't really want to counter their bombs because I want to cast, or I want to steal their bombs. So we're going to counter that. And now we have God's Willing to Protect, but now we are open to, I don't know, like a Rabid Bite? Rabid Bite we actually kind of get to blow out, but then he won't attack with the Silver Shaman. All his creatures redraw stuff. This isn't fair. All right, so we're going to kill this. All right. God's willing. Pro green. Ooh, Donnie Angel. We'll, we'll keep that. Top. All right, so. Yeah, only two damage gets dealt to that. That worked out perfectly. Now we get to go Dawning Angel plus attack for five. That was spicy. Okay. Draw some magic cards, gain some life. All right, so we're going to start by attacking. All right. One, two, three, four. Dawning Angel. And now their next bomb. Hopefully we top deck a land in the next few turns and we can just steal and kind of lock this game up. Probably shouldn't have six. I think that's a popular thing people do wrong in Magic Online uh, is just F6-ing. You give away so much information about your hand. Um, I mean, it's convenient and stuff and I do it on the early turns, but these heavier turns, are they matter a little bit too much. Wow, is that their third Frostling? Their deck is sweet. Okay. That's okay. And that's not a bomb we want to steal, so we'd rather actually top deck a spell here than uh, top deck land seven. Okay, I mean, that's something we're stealing. Okay, that's a good card. That was a great card. We'll take it. And we're going to get in there. I'm not afraid. Now if we attack for five, put them down to 12. It's pretty solid. Now just agent if we can. Now I'll have six. <laughs> I guess uh, we don't have to bluff the second God's willing. Okay, rabid bite. Looks like a rabid bite. Oh. Okay, that's gonna... It's gonna shut us down a little bit here. Now, come on, seventh land would be perfect against that flying crasher. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, wow, getting in there. Okay. Land, please. All right, so we're gonna take that. So we better play that first to make sure the coast is clear. Don't kit counter that. Oh, thank God. All right, we're going to take this. So now not only do we have a blocker, but we have their best creature. But I don't want to just die to Inspiring Charge. So I think I'm going to leave back this. If I attack for six, it's pretty much the same here. Yeah, we're going to do that.
Coming in for six. Uh oh. Okay. It's reasonable. God, their draw was nice too. If we win this game, that would be uh it would be impressive. I mean our draw was nice as well, but hopefully just be out of gas. The problem is all their creatures replace themselves, right? Like I mean they drew off uh wind winged words, cloud uh cloudkin seer drew a card, silverback drew a card. Alright. Wow. Okay, well, I kind of want to just attack with all my flyers. Seven, eight, nine, yeah, it's a lethal attack. So let's do that. So this will demand a chump block. I'm guessing on the, not a chump block, but demand a trade with this. Okay, we like that. Now let's play this. Manipulate our deck a little bit. No thank you, and yes please. Your turn. I think we might be 3-0, y'all. Ah, oh, this deck is feeling so strong. I have high hopes for this seal. This is, uh, this is going well so far, but plenty of tournament to play. We got five more rounds still ahead of you. Remember everybody, if you like the content I produce, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. Trying to grow the YouTube channel um, in its infancy here, but I want to keep making videos. So let's, uh, let's do it together. Okay. All right. Stay tuned for our fourth round.